What is going on everyone? Yes, we have two videos in one day. You guys keep watching and subscribing, so I'm going to keep dishing out all of the news and breakdowns we get. In this video, we're talking all about the interesting art, concepts, and animations we got in yesterday's live stream. Starting off, I'm not going to be breaking down the entire live stream itself, just all the interesting news and stuff that we actually have visuals to see. But keep in mind this is all work in progress in pre-alpha and a lot of this has not gone through the polishing phases at all and some of it isn't even textured yet. But anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is spell animations. In the live stream, we got a good look at Blink, which is a teleport ability most of you MMO fans are probably familiar with. We then have the Gift of the Magi, which is an ability that allows mages to transfer a portion of their mana to a friendly target, which could come in really handy if, say, your healer is running low during a boss fight. We then get an early look at Prismatic Beam. This is an action combat ability that you will have to aim and point in the direction you want to fire. And the ability does more damage over time the longer it is held. And finally, we got an early look at a rendition of the leveling up animation when you hit that next level. First, I want to point out as a lot of people think the particle effects are a bit too much. Keep in mind, this isn't the final version of it, and it could and probably will get toned down a bit. But Steven also said on stream that there will be a slider option for graphics as well, so you can tone it down a bit so it's not as intense and probably will help those lower end systems perform better as well. Most of the spells in the game will have you be able to invest more skill points into them to further upgrade them. For example, the Prismatic Beam spell to start can only hit one target and stop, but you can then upgrade this spell to have it shoot through that player and do damage to the one behind it as well. From here, we got that 17 minute gameplay video showing us gathering in the dungeon with the dragon, which we have seen before, but this time we get an aerial view of it. I just broke down the entire gathering part of this video this morning, so I'm not going to talk about that here but definitely check that out after one interesting thing though from the video that we learned that i will repeat which is probably new to a lot of you is there are no zones based on level each region of the world will have quests and creatures of all levels to partake in and the closer to a node you get the lower level the mobs will be we then got a look at the visual upgrades waterfalls have gone in the game which look fantastic and these haven't even gone through the final polishing stages yet my favorite thing we got out of this stream though is some concept art of dwarf node buildings mostly because i play a dwarf in every mmorpg i ever play but if you don't know this node architecture will be based off the most influential race of that node so if more elves contribute to it the node will look more elven and if more dwarves contribute to it it will look more dwarven then we go swimming with our first look at an early stage of swimming in the game swimming will have a big part as there is lots of naval content in the game including ship combat as well. When swimming, we will be able to use our class abilities in the water, as this will probably be very useful if getting knocked overboard fighting an enemy ship while swimming around. Moving on to some art, we got a textured look of that creepy goblin we saw last month. No, this isn't a playable race, but they may or may not be playable with the Monster Coin event. This is just one variation of these guys, and they look even better than I thought they would with the textures finally applied, and if we are lucky enough, maybe next month we'll see them animated. We also get an early untextured look at some Kalar human robes, along with this cosmetic, which was an equipment cosmetic skin from a bundle way back in July of 2018. 18. This hasn't gotten its animations yet, but they said it will glow based on these spells being cast, and you can see how well it was brought to life from the concept art. I say this every single time, but they do an absolutely amazing job bringing all of the concept art to life in the game. And finally, to end it, we got a look at some animations and particle effects on creatures, such as this troll swiping you with its claw, the war beast, which is this giant rhino looking guy, a ram, which can also be seen pulling a dwarven caravan, and lastly, the worst creatures on earth, spiders. All of these look amazing, even the spiders, despite how gross they actually are. What are your thoughts on all of this? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to check out the full live stream, link is in the description. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.